Star 978, Star 8378. It's Christmas Eve. I'm waiting for my children. Um, so it's December 24th, 2021. I try doing the Santa tracker thing, trying to figure out what that's all about. Just confusing. I'm thinking law of averages, I don't know, divine inspiration with whatever. My body machina, the Maori, M-A-O-R-I, picked up a signal that was talking about law of averages like a radio station program. Um, it's more of like divine, the le comedia, the divine comedy, the divine inspiration. Um, so then, as I was sitting here quietly, um, and then thinking on the law of averages, I started to break the cipher of the av the word average. Why average? Why did that word come to be what was so? And it's A V E the Avenue, A V E N U E, and then it's the Av Rage R A G E. It's all the rage. I'm sure it is somewhere. Um, but like where it's all the rage is usually in the cage building. Um, I take up all of the average non-essential equipment, answers, anger, whatever. And you get the scum layer up top of probability. And then it would feel in this outrage, O-U-T-R-A-G-E, this outrage within the law of income, um, law of outrage, being outraged myself with all the scum layer anchoring up top in some priority the outrage sinks to the bottom and then becomes less of a priority or it would feel like one um, but then that goes back to ran dumb they say that there's predictability and possibility, and then there's random selection, right? Okay, well, that little key-op difference of random, R-A-N-D-O-M, in fandom, F-A-N-D-O-M, seems to be where... The environmental break is for me at the moment. But this is this is what the, this is how the humans define it, which the definition by itself is a really confusing, contorted, purposefully, I suppose. <sighs> Alexa, what? is the law of averages. According to Wikipedia, the, human the law of averages is the commonly held belief that a particular outcome or event will, over certain periods of time, occur at a frequency that is similar to its probability. Depending on context or application, it can be considered a valid common sense observation or a misunderstanding of probability. Mm -hmm. But when you break the law of time dilation in order to push certain outcomes within that substrate, it then becomes all the rage. 
and it becomes a real dangerous proposition which feels like where I have been pushed at this point. I have not been able to read Dante Algieri. Um, the Inferno. Although, from the English perspective, I'd love to know the Italian version of it. it. Only I think it only comes in Italian and then I was also meditating and thinking on why in New York City did that somehow get to be all the rage? Why were there there's a NYU professor who looks Familial, not familiar, uh, but familial to what I am adorned in genetically for genealogy and whatnot. Um, she speaks fluent, um, <clears throat> she teaches in it, so on and so forth. I don't even, not only do I not speak it, I don't read it very well or at all. I have never attempted. To even I didn't even know until the other day when I saw a painting with symbolic gesture on it and then that made me uh, chase the detail of but it was in Italian so I don't read Italian and I'm well perhaps a interpretation already performed maybe it takes out one's ability to decipher themselves um almost like a rewrite of something but um anyhow what scares me is the push for this something called tish t-i i don't know if it's t-i-s-c-h or t-i-s-h or t-i-c-h i'm not sure um it's their performing arts program because it looks like Broadway and their Performing Arts Center, at least what they've put on, tell a vision that I've been able to tune the TV and see. It looks like they have um, a very Amazonian motif. Um, I'd be Brunhilde in Hildy for Germanic Saxony, um, stating the facts on this. Um, but then there's also this big push with Prime and Amazon, A-M-A-Z-O-N. In fact, that's who, I guess, I don't even know what word they use at NORAD for sponsor or, but there's a company called Amazon there's an Amazon rainforest somewhere else, but it looks like their Amazon rainforest inhabitants or their natives are now being funded somehow to push up north into North America. I don't know how that is a possibility, but it seems to be, if I look at it from afar, I mean, I didn't think of it at first, because it was just supposed to be like, um, like a e-commerce thing, but again, this humanness, it, when I really sit back and analyze it, and look at the details of the picture, it really scares me, just how they incorporated this war of some sort or invasion of some sort into some kind of game that was not announced. Um, but again, I'm not within the law of averages. I've been somehow set aside, um, 
even in even in interactions with the humans, it's been at such a copostatic level of topical, like topical, um, almost like a topical ointment. It never, the conversations are never invasive. Um, it's never, they're never deep. They're never, they're just surface level fluff is what it feels like. Um, but I know all of these layers are uber important in some understanding of some overstate that's been unbeknownst or indiscriminate. It's been, it's been undescribable, but it's been creeping in. And then all of a sudden you sit and you're like, oh my God. But on top of that, the entrapment of uh, the body machina in an environmental weather pattern that's being played with and torn on special machinery um, causing... Uh, almost poltergeist and paranormal. I think in um, in one set of circumstances they even use the word Rasputin for raspberry effect. Um, but that's just um It's just almost like in the walls at this point, there's creaks of 